Hey guys, it's Wes back here with another video. Um, I am doing a uh, another review video for you guys. Um, I am done, like I said, with the albums reviews since uh, obviously I'm all out of albums. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, Trick or Treat Studios uh, Michael Myers mask. And uh, anyways, let's get right to it. Um, like I said, this is made by Trick or Treat Studios, and I believe it's on this tag. Yeah, there you go. Um, I, I would say probably the best uh, company, not just for masks, but like just replicas, like knives and machetes and you know, masks, of course. Uh, just, man, they just do a really good job. It is kind of expensive. Um, for this mask, I paid around like 40 bucks for it, which I know sounds a lot, but I, I myself just like getting some things that are like close to the actual product, if that makes sense. So, you know, I was happy with this though. Uh, anyways, and right now I do have it on the stand. Let me show you the stand real quick. Um, bought this stand off of Esty. Hope I'm saying it right. It's like a like a arts and crafts site where they make things and they sell them. Uh, I paid, uh, I believe, like 20 bucks for it. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty well crafted here. You know, you got the base, you got the uh, cylinder there, and you got the base where it sits on it, and on the bottom there. Looks pretty cool. So, but uh, yeah, he does uh, does everything. I mean, you know, you got Halloween, you got Friday the 13th, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Hellraiser, you know, whatever you can think of, he has a stand for. And he, he has different fonts, which is why I kind of uh, went with his it's product because technically I, I think I probably could have made one myself, but this font is just dead on. Now it is a sticker, of course. Uh, he had two different ones. He had just one that said Halloween. And yeah, he, he had this one with the 78 on it. So I went ahead and went with the 78 Halloween there. So I thought it was cool. Um, anyways, let's get back to the, give me a second. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the mask. Uh, let's see. I guess we can just kind of go around it here. Here's a side here. Let me see up to the ear. Like to the scar, you know. It's just, they're so detailed. You know. Uh, let's go around the back here. You got the hair. <laughs> You can actually play with it too. I mean, you can just mess around with it. But I think the hair is pretty dead on for it. Um, let's see. I think it has the... Oh, we'll focus in on that. Made in Mexico there. Okay. Yeah, that's the back of that. Turn to the left side. Basically, it looks like the right. You now you got the scar there. The ear hole there. And we take a look at the front. Uh, like I said, down to, you know, the eyebrows on it. There. You know, the eyes. Just like the little marks like that. Even, you know, the lips down here and... That yeah, was kind of like half, you know, because that's how it really was. It was like kind of half painted on there. And uh, I actually didn't know this not too long ago, but this is William Shatner's uh, cast mold, which I did not know. But uh, yeah, very nice mask. I mean, yeah, you do have to pay up for it, but uh, I think it's worth it. Here's the hair on the front. How it's, uh, I guess you can say stitched in there. But yeah, so, as for the autograph, now a lot of you might not recognize this guy that autographed it. You guys might think, well, 
This is kind of lame, but uh, the guy that signed this is uh, named Tony Moran. Obviously, he played in the original uh, Halloween there as Michael Myers, and he actually played in one scene. It was towards the end. He was with Jamie Lee Curtis there, and uh, that was the only scene he played. Um, got the other guy, uh, and what was his name? Was it Carpenter? No, it was, uh, what was his name? Oh, Nick Castle. Nick Castle was his name. Nick Castle played the, uh, basically the whole, whole movie, and Tony Moran just played, uh, that last part there. I'm not sure why. But, uh, anyways, yeah. I know a lot of people probably think this is kind of stupid. Why would you get a guy that, uh, did one scene and have the other guy sign this one? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, see, Nick Castle, he doesn't have a... It's not a really good autograph. And, uh, I will show you... I'll probably be my next video. I got a knife signed by him. Like I said, it wasn't, it's just not a great autograph. Definitely for something that's worth like 40 bucks. I want something that's really cool. You know, something that's worth what I paid for this. And uh, I'll show you right here. Um, had him sign it in orange paint marker, which came out fantastic. I just like how it came out. Um, it, I went ahead and had him personalized it, but I put two West trick or treat, uh, Tony Moran, Michael, Michael Myers H1, which I thought was really cool. And yeah, I had him sign right on the forehead there. So I thought that was pretty cool. He really liked it as well. So, but, uh, yeah, very nice guy. I met him up in Tampa. At the spooky, yeah, spooky empire. Uh, very nice guy. He was a little, uh, a little out there. He was kind of uh, drinking a bit, so but he was funny, nonetheless. Uh, very nice guy. Very cool guy to talk to for sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, Nick Castle. I mean, he doesn't even have a good autograph as well. But I just like how he puts all this other stuff on there. You know, when Nick Castle signs. He'll just, you know, put his name and then he'll maybe put the shape on there. That's what he was cast as, the shape. Or credited as, my bad. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be better if I can get uh, Tony Moran on a mask. Just because of the pictures that I saw online and how he writes it. Excuse me. So, yeah. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, definitely one of my favorite, uh, you know, horror, horror themes, uh, items I got. Uh, just, again, I just like how the orange just pops out on that white there, so. But yeah, that's gonna be about it. Um, I think I'm doing another DIY video uh wednesday and then that following sunday i would probably do uh let's see yeah i think i'll show you my uh tony or uh sorry uh my nick castle uh knife that i had him sign and the frame i got that i made up myself so Probably these next three videos will probably be about horror. Uh, I think actually one, two, three, about three more videos plus this would be more horror uh, theme. But anyways, guys, we'll go ahead and end this video. Uh, again, very worth the price uh, from Trick or Treat Studios. Again, definitely one of my, like I said, favorite pieces. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video out. Or short I uh, do appreciate all the views and all the uh, the comments anyways guys you guys stay safe and uh, have a good one take care